Sharkam is just off one of Guadalupe's largest seal colonies, tracking a five-meter male. So far, three sharks have shown up. The odds are improving for an attack. 188, wow. Yeah, it's in the zone, it's in the zone, that's, that's cool. Greg Skomel and Mauricio Hoyos monitor Shark Teo's progress. He's down at 182 meters, hiding at the bottom of the drop-off. It's dangerous terrain for Sharkam. The seabed is littered with large boulders formed by the lava flows that created the island eight million years ago. There was a moment, V, right now. This is the place. We're in the place. We're in your hot spot. A fourth shark sneaks up. Vehicle may have just gotten hit. It's right. way nose down. Okay. It may have hit the tail, which is something right. we haven't seen before. Right. That makes me a little nervous because that's our most vulnerable spot on that vehicle. Right. We lose that, we lose the vehicle. Until now, the strikes have all been vertical and from the deep. This violent hit comes horizontally from behind and on the seabed. It's new proof Guadalupe's white sharks not only strike from any depth, but any angle. The robot subs have been attacked 10 times, and always during daylight hours. Is a pattern emerging of white sharks hunting by day and resting at night? In any case, it's all new to science. <laughs>